So do you have any experience in web services, uh, Shaheen? And if so, how, how do you validate the response XML? Um, you, yes, I have experience with the web services. So web services are uh, middleware technology to exchange the data between multiple platforms, applications, and languages. And uh, web services APS facilitates uh, communication between two electronic devices over a network. Uh, SOAP web services communicate over the XML-based SOAP protocol where the request response are XML document composed of a SOAP envelope header um, body and um, fault and um, REST uh, full services communicate over the HTTP protocol using the HTTP methods to send requests and receive the response from the remo uh, remote servers. So uh, in my recent project, I have uh, um, used um, web services uh, using SOAP UI tool to, uh, to test the RESTful service. Uh, I have compared JSON response with the database by doing SQL query, used um, uh, GET method with endpoint and resource uh, to retrieve the specific ID information. And um, uh, I have used a put method to update the status of the claim that I have uh, um, submitted and uh, did a SQL query to check whether the data is updated in the database or not. And uh, I have used a post method to insert a claim uh, in the claims table and sometimes used delete method to delete a record from the claims table. Okay. So what are the challenges or the difficulties you faced in your current project or the other projects you worked on? Shine. Yes, um, so the challenges are like uh, we are working in agile environment and developers are fixing bugs and uh, enhancing the code every day and Jenkins software automatically push the latest build deployed every evening to our QA box and due to the conflict with other developers code most of the time the build was failed and it stops our testing and delays the schedule so that is um, one challenge that I have faced and in other words like uh, BRD requirements are not very clear uh, developers are busy with their task and um, deadline and even we are in agile environment the user stories are not very clear business analyst working from different location and a lot of, um, lack of communication gap and uh, delays to answer our queries so I as a QA tester kept on communicating in emails meetings to resolve all queries okay so what it has to be taken care of once a new build and um, um, or patch is deployed to the QA box? I mean. So first I have to make sure that the, the right build is deployed in QA environment. So confirm the documents are provided uh, about the build number or patch number. Um, and for example, like if the um, uh, application is in clustering and VMR environment to view the build numbers of all RPMs currently installed on the ESX host. So I uh, like in medicine project, I log into the ECS service console um, in the command prompt type uh, RPM-QA. Uh, grab uh, dash i vmware make sure uh, it lists the web servers app servers database and related servers are up and running okay. and um, perform uh, 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 check uh, if all configuration properties files are also updated and pointing to the right servers um, and I have performed, uh, next I'll perform a smoke test uh, to verify the defects raised by the tester in the previous build are fixed in this build. Uh, then uh, we will uh, accept this build and uh, prepare test data if needed by executing SQL queries, exiting all the test cases related to the new build and find the defects in uh, current build and report to developer and uh, then do the regression testing, test all the functionalities again to make sure that the build is not affecting the existing functionality that was working before and then uh, we'll move on to UAT uh, and um, 
production. Okay, Shaina, I would like to tell you something about our project. Um, so basically, in our project, the requirements are changing continuously. When I say that, you know, sometimes, um, you know, you just have to be literally on top of everything. So what do you think that you should, you know, you would be able to work for something, um, for, um, for a company like this, that the requirements are changing continuously um, um, as um, we are going? Uh, yes, yes, um, I will be able to do that. And have you had any experience where, like other, where in another project, the uh, you know the requirements were changing uh, uh, quickly, and you were part of it? Uh, yes, like I will work with the management um, early on uh, and okay. uh, um, um, uh, ensure the uh, um, uh, so that uh, the alternative test plans are, um, are um, prompted and uh, make sure okay. to update as per the latest requirements. Um, focus on ad ad hoc testing in instead of focus more on test plan test cases. Okay, gotcha. So, Shaheen, uh, are you a team player, or you can uh, if uh, you tell me something? Um, are you a team player, or you can work by yourself if there uh, if there is a situation? So, um, tell me a little bit a little bit about yourself. Um, I am a, like I can I have the ability to work both as a team player and individually. So, and I am also able to work under a tight schedule. And um, uh, I can um, uh, I can adapt to the environment very very easily. So it is my um, I would say my strength. And I am a very optimist optimistic person, and I am a quick learner. Okay. Um, all right. I think these are the questions I have for you. Do you have any questions for me? Uh, may I know if the current project has a good documentation? And uh, I would also like to ask you my like my feedback so that I can improve myself. Uh, I think you were um, you I I think you were great. Um, um, I felt like you uh, you know I got all the uh, all the answers what I was looking for. So thank you. Thank you very much, Pam, for your.